All right, folks, first flea market trip since October. Hopefully it's warm enough. It is most definitely not warm enough. Not a bad start to find this romance stuff. The only problem is she wanted a hundred for the whole stack. And unless I'm missing something, it's a no from me. That looks like short boxes. Well, there was more stuff today. I know this vendor. He's had good stuff before, but I often feel like his price is just a little bit wrong. Let me also stop the video right here. I almost crapped my pants when I saw this original price guide, only it is not the first ever price guide. It is a reprint. Um, they actually go for like 20, 25 bucks. His price was 30, so I did pass. But you can definitely see he's got the right stuff. Everything is just five or $10 over what I'd be comfortable charging for it, much less what I would even hope to pay for it. Oh man, has this ever happened to you guys where you actually find something at a booth or whatever and the guy or gal is nowhere around? And it's too bad too because I actually need to refill on some Walking Dead and it was first print stuff. And in general, the guy had some interesting things for sure. Like he had these green soldiers, these toy soldiers. I actually didn't even know they got this big, so I would have bought that too. Sadly, he was nowhere to be found. I sat around, waited about five minutes. I asked the vendors if he was coming back, nothing. Hello, Bueller. Nothing. All right, bye. And our last guy of the day, I also have seen this guy before. I don't even know why I bother. He always has five to $10 on completely non-key 90s fluff. So, nope. Whew, okay. Well, you know what? That's what usually happens. We'll try again on Saturday. And we're back, this time in my wife's scarf. Dude, it's cold, man. I think I jumped the gun too early this year. Only one vendor this day had comics and you wouldn't believe what he was asking. He was saying every book $25 a piece. What? It wasn't gonna stop me. Obviously, I still wanted to take a look because you never know, there could be 50, 100, maybe $200 books in here. But honestly, it was mostly books ranging between a dollar to 10. So not really sure where that $25 per book evaluation came from. But you always take a look, guys. You always take a look. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out. Often doesn't at the flea market. So that's okay. On to the next day. Hey, that rhymed. All right, we're back, but it's Sunday. Now, notoriously Sunday in the past has been the best day for the flea market of the whole Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday line. That being said, I promised my mom I'd go to church with her this morning. So if I do find something out here, it's gonna have to go pretty quick and I'm running a little late. So let's get to it. Man, I told you guys the weather has been pretty crazy. Look at this. We're like practically flooded here. ECW box. Oh man, it's the same guy from Wednesday. He just looked different today, man. Oh well, it's the same guy who has the $10 for random Spider-Man books. To his credit, he had different books, so I wanted to take a look. But yeah, no, he and many others at the flea market that work the regular Wednesday circuit are overpriced, as you saw. So it was kind of a shame to see them also here on Sunday. But you know what? They got to make a living. I get it. And I guess they're just kind of waiting for suckers to spend extra, extra dollar on this stuff. But you know what? If it's like a $20 book and you got $50 on there, that's just wrong. I'm going to have to avoid this guy in the future, but I just can't help myself. Folks, we might have run into some good luck. I'll let you know if the guy is willing to take an offer on this stuff. But this guy, I've seen him before. His stuff is always the closest to realistic price that I've seen at the market. I didn't think we were gonna get anything. Granted, we're not retiring off of this, but let's show you what we got. 
First book's gonna be the first appearance of Atuma, and even though it's very low grade, he said this whole stack was gonna be half off, and we got it down from even there. I actually got all this for $40 cash. So let's move on. We have a 10 cent Superman, it's number 135. It's actually more mid-grade than low-grade, so that actually is an easy seller for me at a claim sale. He put it at 30, which brings it down to 15, considering I'll probably pop 20, 25 dollars, unless it is a key of some kind. Eh, it's okay. Then we have the Superman 3D. It's actually hard to find this with the actual glasses. So uh, that's actually pretty good. He actually underpriced that, so that's cool. I love weird stuff like this. Honestly, there's a guy in my antique shop that's gonna want this more than me, so I'm just gonna give it to him. First appearance of Henry Ducard. I'll check it out, just see if it's uh, gradable. Otherwise, that's a win. This is something I recognized immediately, but after an eBay search, yeah, they are pretty much like a $10 book right there. The only thing I grabbed this for is I think it may be an actual 9.8. The book looks unread, untouched. And uh, for the more adult themed folks out there, this is a easy seller, like a classic. So there we go. And then we've got the very last two is going to be one of those old three pack comics from the 80s. These would hang in comic shops. And I honestly might take these to my comic shop and hang them and maybe not even make them for sale. I love this whole vibe. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't know if these are meant to be taken out of here. At this point, they've been this way since the 80s. It's just too cool in my eyes. Uh, then we have a Cersei key. So, you know, wow, okay. That's pretty good right there. I think for 40 bucks, that ain't bad. Luckily, the flea market's about five minutes from my house, and I gotta tell you, that really helps. Uh, otherwise, the gas would have killed me on something like this. But you know what? This went about as expected. You do not strike big at the flea markets until you do. Members of the channel have seen that I have found some gold. And it didn't happen this time, but you know what? I'm gonna be hitting it the entire spring, summer, and fall. And it's probably gonna happen at least once. So stay tuned, keep on hunting. I'll see you at the next video. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.